Hello, dear friends, new students, old students, and anyone in between. My name is Kat, and I am here in my hometown of Yorkshire, in a stately home hotel, and the light is shining in through the window, and it feels quite divine and magic, and I decided it would be a nice time to talk about ego. So talk about all those bad feelings that you have from feeling unconfident, insecure, resentful, angry. So how do you get out of that delusion into bliss? So the first point there would be that those negative feelings that you have, according to the yoga philosophy, is because of delusion or ignorance. It's called Ayurvedya. So it's kind of like thoughts and situations put a big black blanket on you when you get angrier and more confused and so on and so forth. Um, and you believe that that's all true. And you can't remedy delusion or ignorance. So you can't remedy this negativity by scolding yourself or someone else scolding you, you can only remedy it with the opposite, which is bliss. So that means meditation. If you want to progress on the spiritual path, you can't do it without connecting to the light, this light that you can see shining in now. And you do that through meditation. So all the lower energies that you could get involved with in the world. So what are they? Insecurity, not being confident, hating, jealous, resentful, bitching, fear. Fear is such a big one. Um, and so on. You, you, if you stay there, then you kind of get stuck there for the rest of your life. You have to move up. You have to move up the scale. Now, up the scale is love, joy, peace, bliss, forgiveness, um, like the fire of wanting to move forward. So how are you going to move from there to there? Well, you're not going to do it if you just let your mind run round in this circle I'm this rubbish, I can't do this, this is not going to happen, she's doing this, I don't like that. Um, and it's so easy to get caught in that cycle and it is so easy because you'll notice that other people will just be super happy to get caught in that cycle with you. In fact, what you'll find is you can get into situations where your relationship with said other person can revolve and grow from your shared negativity rather than your shared positivity and that's fine you know that's what it's not a bad thing to have a little five minute complain or a bitch you know you are just a human being but you don't want to get stuck there you know if you do end up doing that just recognize it I'm stuck in lower vibrations here. That's okay. I've had a little moan. I've had a little bitch. But come on, I can do better than this. And the universe or God or my higher self wants me to do better than this. So that's when you need to connect with the light. Now, there's lots of ways to do that. But meditation is the main one. I would always recommend... Um, doing a bit of yoga movement before you meditate. The reason why um, is because you've got to trust me on this. I've been doing this for a long time now. When you move and connect your breath with the movement, maybe play some higher vibrational music as you're doing that, like mantras or um, yeah, mantras are great. And connect with the movement connect with the breath connect with your body connect with the higher vibrational mantras your mind will stop going around in this negative loop and it rather than going around in this negative loop it'll start to just go more linear so it'll go more straight line more peaceful now when it's running along this straight line more peaceful rather than going around like this you can 
direct it up, up, up. Mm -hmm. So you've done your yoga, you've done your um, breath, you've maybe done some mantra, even just listen to it. You know, I, so I listened to a podcast the other week and I don't know if you've ever heard of, oh, it's a DJ and he was a, a real drug addict and he was completely sober. I don't know if it's Fat Boy, not Fat Boy Slim, DJ Tony, I think is Kate Moss's best friend. Anyway, he was a massive drug addict, nearly died lots of times, and now he's been sober, I think, for 15 years. But he said something on this podcast. He said, the best drug in the world, the best drug in the world is music. Because music can absolutely send you into another dimension. And isn't that so true? You can listen to a piece of music for a second, and if it's the right one that connects with you, your mood can completely change and um, so I'm a big fan of music but it has to be high vibrational music be really careful about what you choose don't listen to any of this nonsense that's talking about your boot is bigger than my booty or I'm gonna steal your girl or sex baby Um, I'm just making things up in my head because I don't listen to it but you know personally I like contemporary classical music um, I love um, music from the 80s. I find it really upbeat. Um, yeah, something that has, that the, the, the writer of that music has written from quietness. They've channeled those words from the above, from the heart, and then they're giving you a bit of that divinity of, through the medium of music. I'm going off track here, but music and be careful about what music you choose to help you elevate um you can always follow me on spotify for some good yogi and classical music and um, cat webster yoga also my teacher simon park is on there and his music collection is to die for it's incredible he is my hero <laughs> my yogic hero um anyway where were we going with this so you've done you've done your breathing your movement your meditation no you haven't done your meditation yet and your music and then you stop and you just make a conscious decision right now I'm going to move towards the light to help me elevate myself to help me elevate my life to help me elevate my future to help me elevate my present you can do this two ways. I'll be honest here. I normally lie down and I lie down and meditate. If that doesn't work for you because you're sleepy, you easily fall asleep laying down or it just doesn't work for you. Then sit up, get comfortable. And then just let the vibration of your practice take its seat. Relax your body. Big deep breath and then feel the light coming in as you inhale you inhale prana and light and love and as you exhale that moves all out around you and say to the light i am welcoming you you are welcome here Maybe say I'm letting go of all my lower vibrations and tendencies, my delusions and ignorances. And I want to know and I want to be peace, love, joy and bliss. I am letting go of all my insecurities, fears, doubts, jealousies. And I am moving higher up vibrational scale towards the light and I am doing this for the benefit of myself and others if you can do that just that every single day and if you don't have time for the prior asana practice just do that lay down sit up breathe say those words find your own script let the light come in, let the bliss come in, and then send it out all around you. 
I have a lot of people now asking me, how can we constantly um, be feeling this high vibrational sensation? And the truth is you can't, you can't. Um, you, you're, you're a human being, you're made of dark and light, everything is polarity. But every single day, connect, 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 music, movement, breath write some words like I just spoke and say them and mean them and repeat them repeat them when you're relaxed never ever ever repeat anything like that when you're angry repeat them when you're relaxed before bed is a great time in shavasana is a great time in meditation is a great time when you just wake up is a great time if you're not super groggy personally I I need a cup of coffee before I even remember what needs to be done. Um, yeah. And then another question I've been getting recently is about how to be more confident and move your career forward as a yoga teacher. It's all about the ego. It's all about the ego. <laughs> you gotta, you got to take charge of it. You've got to be like, I am not dealing with any of those lower vibrational thoughts that I'm not good enough, that I can't be seen. You've got to be seen. You're going to be a yoga teacher. That means that you are going to be seen. You've got to promote yourself. You've got to market yourself. You've got to find your voice. You've got to share it. You've got to be passionate. You've got to be purposeful. You've got to be seen. You've got to get over wanting to hide. Um, you need to realize that this is a passion project and that means you have to feel strongly about it and if you feel strongly about something you power through you connect with the light because that's where you're going um yeah keep the bag of Gita this is what I did in the beginning and I still go back to this keep the bag of Gita if you've been on my teacher training, you will have bought that book. And if you haven't bought that book, buy it. Keep it by your bed and read. just open it on a page and read it out loud to yourself. There are some stunning pearls of wisdom in that book, some stunning pearls, pearls of wisdom. And it just makes you realize, God, I'm living in this like lower, lower vibration. I can't think of a different word, this lower state and really I'm so much more than that I'm so much more than that and this light and the trees the sky I'm big I can expand I can live my dreams I can be selfless and help other people to do the same I can love so deeply that it scares me I can be patient and kind I can I can I can namaste reach out to me anytime anytime on instagram email whatsapp i'm not the fastest at replying but i always read them and i get back to them eventually um chase me if i don't <laughs> <coughs> my teacher training if you haven't already come down to the studio for a class <laughs> and next year i'm planning um a very big retreat it's going to be called finding your light which is a little bit of a playoff from my first book finding my light if you haven't read my first book before you can get it on amazon finding my light by Catherine ann webster and next year there will be a big retreat um for finding your light and it really will be incredible i haven't found a place yet i don't know whether to do it uk spain or greece if you've got any preferences or recommendations let me know but have a lovely weekend sending you lots of love